Coco, if you could, your thoughts on today's match. Yeah, I mean, I fought really hard today um, overall, I think. Um, I played well for the most part. I just didn't take care of my serve, so that was the biggest difference. Too many free points on my serve. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Name and affiliation, one question each so I can get to as many people as possible. Brian. Coco, Brian Lewis from the New York Post. I'm, I'm curious, particularly with the doubles, I mean, double falls, I mean, was there something mechanical that you felt that was consistently giving you trouble? Yeah, I mean, obviously I go down on my left side a lot on my serve, and it's something I'm aware of, but it's tough in the moment to, I guess, try not to do it. Um, so, yeah. Willie. Willie Weinberg from ESPN. You've just described a mechanical thing. What was going through your mind as your serve was deserting you? We get the serve in. Um, yeah, I mean, I was just trying to commit to it and just stay calm. Um, so, yeah. WTA, Coco, um, in previous press conferences, you talked about not wanting to have regrets at this tournament. Curious, just with the fight back and everything, all the effort that you put in today, did you feel like you accomplished that goal for yourself, or do you feel like you fell short on it? Um, I mean, mentally I gave it, and emotionally I gave it my all. Obviously, there's things execution-wise where I'm like, okay, I wish I could, obviously I wish I could serve better. Um, I think if I would have did that, it would have been a different story um, for me in the match. Um, but Emma played really well. Um, she did, I mean, everything well. I thought she was really aggressive on my second serve, so putting more pressure on my serve and um, being solid from the baseline. And, you know, she's, that's, I mean, I expected that going in, so... Emotionally, I have no regrets, but obviously I wish I could execute things better. Hi, Coco. Catherine Mitzke at the Tennis Podcast. Obviously, on your run here last year, a lot of the time you didn't find your top level, but you fought through and kind of developed a reputation for that. How different did today feel to, to the matches you played here last year? Yeah, I mean, I felt like I was, I mean, from the ground, I felt like I was getting better with each match, honestly. Um... Yeah, I mean, I thought I was hitting, you know, both sides decently well. I didn't return as well maybe in the first set and then even in the second, but I was able to find it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't play, like, the best throughout the match, but there was moments where I was playing good tennis. Um, so I think for me it's just trying to find that more consistently. Right. Hey, Coco, tough one today. What the? Can you sort of compare or think about the first – sort of half of this year and the, you know, really good results generally that you had in Australia and then in Paris and some other places. And then sort of this summer, um, did you sense something was going on or just sort of these things happen and things come or has there been some sort of change? And how, how how's that been? What has it been like to experience as you're going through it? I mean, I guess for me, yeah, it's not the summer that I want. I feel like there's like 70 other players in the draw that would love to have the summer that I had, even though it's my least probably done well during this time of the year. So many people want to be in the forefront. So many people want to make the Olympics. So many people want to be flag bearers. So it's, it's perspective. Obviously I'm, I'm because I'm wanting to reach a different level. It is disappointing, but I'm not going to beat myself up and be like, this is so bad. And yeah, I expect better, but at the end of the day it happened. Um, and I can, I know I can turn it around. I didn't mean to suggest. No, no, no. I know so what you're. I, I, I no, 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 no. I know you. Your question was your fine. I was just like, giving your own standard. No, no. I understood that. what you meant. No, I know. Like this wasn't a great couple months. So no, I didn't take any offense to it. I'm just saying, like, trying to be perspective from other people. Reem. Hi, Coco. Reem Abule from the National. Coco, there's still more to come in this year. I know you just walked off the court, but uh, but I'm wondering. Given that this period you really wanted to do well, you had the high standards for yourself, is there a bit of relief now going into what's coming and that there's nothing hanging over your head except like just moving forward, you have finals to look at and things like that? Um, yes and no. I mean, I don't know what my schedule will look like at the end of this year. Um, I feel like I want to spend a good training block. I hadn't had that since maybe before the clay season started, so... Yeah, I think I just – we'll see how Asia goes, and we'll see. I mean, obviously, if I qualify, I'll play, but um, 
I think for me in the long term, I definitely want to get a good training block. And I guess we'll see, you know, what how many tournaments I play for the rest of the year. Howard, then Darcy. Howard. Hi, Coco. Howard Fendrich with the Associated Press. Uh, could you describe what Emma did that troubled you, maybe even each of these last two times you've played her, and was there anything different today? And also, you got to know her, you probably knew her already, but yeah. I'm imagining in Paris there was some extra time there as teammates, and just maybe if you could describe her as a person off the court. Yeah, um, no, she, I think she played me similar, similar to how she played me at Wimbledon. And, um, you know, the difference in Wimbledon today, I think I was just mentally better. So that's why I got to the three third set. Um, but, you know, I think in the future, I have to take care of myself. She's a great returner. I think she does a, a great job of just redirecting. She's kind of an all court player. She can do everything. Um, so I don't think she changed how she played me um, from Wimbledon to now. Um, so, I, yeah, I think for me, it was just all on, on, on my end of the court. Obviously, she's a great player. And as a person, she's super nice girl. I've got to know her over the Olympics and she's super funny. Um, she's kind of the opposite of how she is on court. She has a lot of personality, but she doesn't show it as much to you guys. But yeah, she's super nice and I always root for her. And yeah, it was a battle today. Um, but you know, if you, you want, if you had to lose, it's, you know, I'd rather lose to a, a good person off the court, you know. Okay, Darcy, and then last question is Cindy. Darcy? Uh, Darcy Main from ESPN.com. Um, other players have talked about the fatigue and they felt after this summer, particularly with the Olympics, and their energy levels maybe not being quite where they normally would this time of year. Is that something you felt coming to New York? Um, No, I think, uh, I don't know. It's a tough question because I feel like I felt ready and I felt, like physically and mentally ready, but for sure, I think in Toronto and Cincy, it was a little bit mentally draining those tournaments, having to switch surfaces. And it's tough when you're trying to find your game and you're not, you, you're, you're just used to just maybe a certain type of year. But coming into this, I hadn't, I didn't feel any exhaustion. I was actually really excited to play. And um, yeah, I didn't feel any type of things. I was just ready to go on court. Even today, I felt ready to go on court. I was excited. So, um, yeah, but I mean, if that's something you have to deal with every four years, so it's not that big of a deal. And every Olympics I can qualify for and I'm healthy, I'm definitely going to play. So I don't blame it on that. Right. Cindy, last question, please. Thank you. Hi, Coco. Cindy Schmerler from the New York Times. Uh, Irina Zabalenka, when she was struggling with her serve, hired a mechanics coach to help her deal with it and, and restructure her serve. Is that something you would consider? Um, yeah, I mean, for sure. Um, yeah, I definitely want to look, you know, get other opinions. Um, cause you know, I, and also I think it's sometimes more of an emotional mental thing. Cause if I go out on the practice court right now, I'll make like 30 serves in a row. I've done it before. So I think it's also just my, kind of a mental hurdle that I have to get over when it comes with that. But yeah, I definitely want to look at other things cause I don't want to lose matches like this anymore. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Coco. Thanks.